everyone. Welcome to another 10 Minute Tuesday. This is where I challenge myself to create something special for a journal in 10 minutes or less. And today I will be making double pockets, four all together, using a really nice envelope that a card came in. We will see if I can create this in 10 minutes or less. Um, I will be using this ju this junk journal that I am currently working on and hopefully I'll be able to make something really nice for this particular book. <clears throat> My name is Laura and I'm from the Queen of Mirth. I'm also very grateful to be able to be doing what I really love. So let's get started. The first thing I do every Tuesday is I set my lemon timer for 10 minutes. And then in, when it goes off in the 10 minutes, it makes a big dinging sound. And we will see if I have made my, um, whatever it is I'm gonna be making, this time the envelope pockets. Um, we'll, we will know for sure whether I did it within the 10 minute time limit. So here we go. Okay, it's right at 10 minutes. Um, this is the envelope that I plan to use. It, um, it's just a regular, but really pretty envelope. And this is going to go into my junk journal. Um, it's, this, it's, this is a simple project. The last three, the last three 10 minute Tuesdays that I did, I did not make the item in the allotted time, but I think this time I'll be able to. Um, so I want to make a good crease here and see see how this works. The, um, the flap is, has never been sealed, so it just opens and closes so I can put the flap down and I can fold the envelope in half. And this is a nice big envelope. So I want to put it on this page, I believe. So it will go like this. Nice, eh? And, um, and I'll also have an opening here. Ah, I'm going to take all this paper away. It's, it's in my way and I as you can see I haven't put I haven't decided the order in which I'm going to arrange these um, the, the pages in that book okay so now what I want to do is make my side pockets so I will just cut a very thin piece off of the envelope, both sides. So actually I've sliced this side and this side, and I did it both at once. Get these little scraps away. Now, okay, so this page is where it's gonna be, and I, I want to put the flap of the envelope at the bottom so things can tuck into it. Now my question is, do I want it on this page? No, I don't think so. I think I want it on this page because I like to have as much space as I can between the spine and the opening of the envelope. In fact, I might even make this one a little bit smaller than the other. Yeah, that's better, I think. Okay, so now I just need to um, glue it down.
and the glue I'm using is tacky glue by the Scotch tape people, the Scotch brand. And I have to tell you that I think it's just as good. I've been using it for a little while now. And I think it's just as good as the glitter glue, the art glitter glue. And it costs quite a lot less than art glitter glue. Um, to bring the art glitter glue into Canada and to buy it here is prohibitively expensive, although it's great, great glue. However, I've been experimenting a little bit using this Scotch brand for about a month now, and I absolutely think it's great. Nothing wrong with it, and I think it's just like the art glitter glue anyway. So here we are with this. This is the this is just the lid from some old old um, what do you call it glue you know the glue stick the glue stick lid and it works very well as a brayer so I kind of keep a few of these lids around after the after I use up the glue stick because. Sometimes I lose my glue, st my current glue stick lid, and then I'll have one, or um, I use it for this purpose as a brayer, or as a as a bone, like I would use a bone folder. Does perfect work. Okay, so here we are. I'm, it's done actually. That's that's really all you need to do. Um, I maybe could put a little bit of in the side here so things don't fall sideways but that's not necessary there okay life is good isn't it at least, at least when we're creating life is so good when we can have the time and the space to create now, I'll show you how it works. Very simple, actually. Um, oh dear. There, that's better. Okay, so, so this, things will fit in here, and they will fit in here. And the same on the other side. They will fit in here. Very nicely, nice little pocket. And down here. This is my daughter, she's now in her 40s. This is her, um, as an artist at the age of two. I'm so happy to have that. Anyway. Here we are. So this is how it works. I'm not going to put things in it yet because I like to make sure that nothing that I put in will be touched by wet glue. So I made it. I, I, I beat the challenge and I've made something really quite nice I think for my current junk journal. This particular junk journal I am working on, um, it's going to be somebody's Christmas gift. And it has a kind of a loose bohemian theme to it. So I haven't, and like I said, I haven't decided the exact order of the pages. I do that just before I bind it. And I'll be binding it with a three hole pamphlet stitch. Very simple and very lovely. So here we are, we have it. I'm so glad. And I think I have about a minute and a half or so to spare. Wow, that's, 
this is really good for me because like I said the last three times I did not make the challenge um, what do you think of the cover that this cover I made in my last 10 minute Tuesday challenge a week ago from today and it's a mixed media cover oh there there it goes there's our 10 minutes anyways it's a mixed media cover and it was a, a lot of fun to produce anyway here we are um, thank you so very much for being with me today for joining me in this challenge and I'm pretty happy that I was able to make something beautiful within the 10 minutes. That shows that any, if I can do it, anybody can, and that um, making things for your journals and your junk journals need not be terribly time consuming. And you can get good results really fast if that's what you want. And from time to time, I think it's what all of us want. So take care. And I hope to see you, or I hope you'll see me in the next video, which will be very soon. Bye.